All righty. How's everybody doing? It is currently the weekend. It's a Friday night, and I am looking to help some people out. So let's jump right into it while this is uh, installing. Apparently, they have a no build mode in Fortnite, so let's try that out and see if I don't feel like a child playing it. Um, anyway, this is, in short, a holy hell. See, this is why I don't change my display resolution. Look at this shit. Wow. I promise I'm not this disorganized. Anyway, let's hop right into it. So, if you are running AWCC, then this is the tutorial for a complete uninstall and reinstall. Kind of a mimic of the last video I did, but I understand it was in a resolution that is native to my 49 inch ultra wide Samsung G9 Odyssey. So, it didn't render correctly for you guys. That's my bad. Anyway, um, if you're having issues with either one of these categories, thermal, audio, power, or overclock, then this should resolve your issues. It's just um, one of the biggest things that you, you guys need to make sure you're doing is that when you go through a complete uninstall, like let's say you go to apps, you find AWCC and all of its associated, okay, if it'll quit being stupid, find AWCC and all of its associated software is installed with it. Just go ahead and uninstall pretty much everything. The main things that you do want to uninstall, if you don't want to install, uninstall everything is components, command center, suite, command center suite, controls, and just for the hell of it, if you have an AW988 headset like I do, go ahead and uninstall that as well. Because you're going to need to revitalize every bit of the software. So once you successfully uninstall everything, it's not completely uninstalled. I know that's probably confusing, but here we are. Uh, let me make sure that this is actually displaying um, everything for you guys. Okay, it is. <clears throat> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this PC. We're going to go OS, which operating system that's that's your actual computer whichever one has the window logo that's what you're going to use so what we're going to do is we're going to go into program files and we're going to find alienware just click on it and delete this thing completely get rid of it i mine works i don't have any issues with mine i'm not going to reset it because it's it's alienware control center is kind of weird if you f with the files when you haven't uninstalled it it might not work correctly again. So, yeah, not going to do that. Anyway, uninstall and then completely delete this file. This is program files again. Just delete it from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to program files, x86. You're going to go and you're going to find... Eh, this one shouldn't matter. Never mind that. Um, Dell, update service... Make sure that there's nothing in here concerning AWCC, and there's not. Okay. We should be good in here. All right, program data, Alienware, delete this folder. This So ultimately, let me go over this again. This is going to be program files, base program files, and then program data. There is an Alienware folder in each of these you need to delete. Completely delete it after you've uninstalled all of the uh, software that I previously went over. After you've done this, you can go into the search bar. Where's my search bar? Oh yeah, Windows 11, stupid. Anyway, H key, type in H key. And just like that, you see Windows Registry, which helps me remember that it's called Windows Registry. Crap. Just type in reg, and it'll bring up registry editor. Yes, and then uh, you guys can go into local machine, uh, software, alienware, then just click on it and completely delete this HK as well. Um, 
I believe there is one more thing that we need to look at and delete. So we'll go into H key. Is it users? No, it's not. Current config, software, no. Okay, then it must be current user. So we'll go into current user, software, and then we'll find Alienware. Delete this folder as well. Just completely delete it. We don't want any traces of this program or programs being on the computer at all. So once you've gone in, you've deleted from current user and from local machine. Again, current user, all you have to do is extend it, software, find Alienware, delete, and then current user is done. Go to HQ local machine, same thing, software, and then Alienware, delete the entire folder. Once all the H keys are gone, you can go ahead and restart your computer. And the next step is going to be going in and typing in Dell support. Okay, so once you've done this, you just go to Dell support, find your machine, because this is the only way it's going to work. AWCC only works on Dell authorized or recognized computers. When you log in here, you also should have just to make it a bit more simple, um, support assist, because that's that's part of how it recognizes your drivers, make sure you have the most up-to-date ones. But I would recommend doing it manually because that's, that's essentially what's gonna ensure you're getting the latest drivers and they're installing correctly. So screw category, uh, release date, let's make sure it's the soonest. Okay, so today is April 15th, perfect. Um, so you got Fusion Service, Alienware Command Center Application, OC Controls, and these are really the only things you're going to need because everything else will download and update from Microsoft Store. Uh, that automatically happens once you have these applications and do what I'm about to show you. So again, once you have those applications, then I would recommend going into your Downloads folder, which I have the three of them right here. I had done this previously. And what you're going to do is you're going to put them into a separate folder, which I have on my desktop. And that was called AWCC. So what I did here, you see a lot more files, right? So what I did was I just clicked on each individual one. You're going to open that up. And you're going to extract. Make sure when you extract, you click on the folder that you made. Right, because you want it to extract to the same folder you have the programs and software and in general. That's going to make it easier for you to track. So just go ahead and extract there and do that for each one of these. Boom, boom. It's the same thing. I'm not going to go through all of it. Um, so once you've extracted everything, you should see um, the setup. Setup is the first one you're going to go to. Make sure you run that as admin because it's gonna give access to all of the uh, components and internal software that comes with the computer. That way you can actually overclock um, the system itself, the CPU, GPU, and possibly tap into some of the RAM. It depends on your BIOS and your type of computer along with the motherboard. But anyway, uh, run as admin, and then you're just gonna you know, run through the, installing the program like normal. Um, once you've done that, you'll go to Fusion Service, do the same thing. Uh, right here, still right click, and go to Run as Admin. And then once you've done that, installed, same thing with OC Controls, Run as Admin. Once you have done all of this, do not go and open up AWCC, okay? Because it's not going to register correctly. It needs to be restarted. So you're going to go in. Select power and a restart. Okay. Once your computer boots back up and you log back in, you'll be back to square one, and that's when you can open this up. Once you open it up, they'll start cycling. You'll see that some of these sections aren't actually registering. It looks like it's not going to work. Just leave the application be, let it run, because it's it's going to be fine. Because what's going to happen is the application itself is going to stop cycling through that circle. And it's going to restart. It's going to ask you if you can go ahead and update. Select yes. Like install those updates, and then just let it run. Once it does so, it'll reboot, and it'll take a second for 
probably overclock in thermal to actually uh, register in. But once it does, boom, you have a perfectly working application. Um, and then all the sub applications as well. If you guys are still encountering any issues, let me know and I'll look into it and see if I can find a solution for you. Um, again, I really appreciate you guys uh, giving me support. Very small channel kind of starting up, but I've gone through a lot of these issues myself and I want to help you guys out as much as I can. So any support is really appreciated. Anyway, you guys have a great rest of the weekend and hope this helps out.